everyone, welcome back to LW Investing. If you're new, welcome to the channel, guys. And if you are not, thank you for dropping back in. In this video, we are talking cryptocurrency today. We are talking about the Voyager app. We are also talking about what Mark Cuban just said. And we are also looking at the flipping event that is happening with Ethereum and BTC. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget if you like this content and you want to see more videos on cryptocurrency, stock investing, and of course overall investing, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It is absolutely free. Let's jump in. Having a look at the overall market today, we are once again in the dark green today. We have BTC over the $40,000 mark. We have Ethereum chasing $3,000. We have most of the altcoins in the green and some of the altcoins in the dark green, guys. Everyone's portfolio should be exploding right now. Are you guys buying the dip? Let me know in the comments. Let's get into it. All righty, Ether sales pass BTC daily volume as Grayscale Ethereum Trust trades at 11% premium. Roughly 60 billion worth of ETH changed hands over the past 24 hours by BTC saw 50 billion in trade. Ethereum is seeing renewed interest in the aftermath of Bitcoin travails this week with Ethereum's 24-hour volume topping BTCs by a significant margin. However, it is still a long way from doubling Bitcoin's volume as some ETH proponents suggest. On May 25th, a screenshot of CoinGecko's data circulated across crypto Twitter showing that the daily volume of ETH had surpassed $115 billion while Bitcoin sat at nearly $53. Billion. In the past 24 hours, our Bitcoin page received about 60% more traffic compared to Ethereum when it comes to search queries. Bitcoin received about 7% more queries compared to Ethereum. Is this the start of a flipping event, guys? Do you see Ethereum flipping BTC? We're seeing it on trading volume at this present time. Can it be in total value? Let me know in the comments. Let's get into it. Voyager Digital sees 16x increase in quarterly revenues first operating profit. The Canadian trading and yield at record 60 million in revenue for Q1. Crypto asset trading firm Voyager Digital has announced financial results for the first quarter of 2021. The retail crypto trading and yield platform reported another record quarter with momentum continuing into the current quarter. Total revenue for the period came in at 60.4 million, more than 16x increase from its 3.6 million over the previous quarter. The company entered the quarter with an operating ratio of 30 million and an adjusted working capital of 197 million. Trading volume has also surged in 2021, leading a massive revenue boost for the firm. Q1 saw 5 billion of principal trading traded compared to 350 million principal value traded in the previous quarter. Newly founded accounts in May have surpassed the whole month of April with currently 1.6 million verified users on the platform. Our focus on a wide range of coins has contributed to a long-term economic model and physical third quarter operating margins increased to 50%. Given our success to data, we anticipate that our operating margins should continue to scale in future. Do you guys use the Voyager app? Do you guys own Voyager stock? It's something to have a look at, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Just like Coinbase, these, off these ratios of profit is just phenomenal. Let's get on to the next one. BTC price must now hold this key level to regain the 40K. Will 37,000 hold for more upside in the near term for BTC? BTC prices pulled back on May 25th, wiping small portions of gains it had made during the previous session and another day of volatility trading. The BTC exchange chain rate 6.11% after opening to Asia Pacific session at 38,856. As a result, the bids for the BTC pair started dropping while heading into the early London session, eventually finding support levels and instrumental in limiting the market's bearish trend during the last few weeks. Called the black horizontal line in the chart above roughly 37,000, a key retest level, noting its significance in determining Bitcoin's short term price. Bitcoin turns 37,000 into support in the short term but might need to retest that area once again, given how strong yesterday's daily close was. Once again, guys, you can see the current price just tipped over the $40,000 mark. Do we need to retrace down to the $37 mark to reconfirm the support and or upwards and onwards? Who knows? Let's get into it. All righty, Mark Cuban officially backs Polygon. The Ethereum-based scaling solution recently appeared on the Mark Cuban company's website, 
seamlessly affirming its investment in the project. Billionaire investor Mark Cuban has thrown its weight behind Polygon according to the new disclosure on one of its websites, offering further evidence that wealthy investors are tapping into the digital asset market despite the recent turmoil. The addition of Polygon to the Mark Cuban company's website appears to have been made recently and reaffirms the billionaire's backing of the project. Cuban, who was once a polarized figure in the cryptocurrency market, has become a more vocal supporter of the Narcissus asset class over the past year. Recently, when Elon decided to stop accepting BTC due to environmental concerns, Cuban said he, his Dallas Mavericks would continue to accept the digital currency as payments. There must be a current network effect and significant user growth. This is a challenge to most L1s and L2s because few exceptions, marketing in the crypto universe is beyond awful. What are your thoughts on this, guys? I have seen Polygon massive, massive gains, 100% since the last dip. Did you guys get in that? This is just reaffirming the project. I currently do not own any Polygon. Do you guys own any? Let me know in the comments. Let's get into it. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. Please don't forget, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It is absolutely free. Speaking of free, if you want to get yourself some free Bitcoin, check out the pinned comment to CoinSpot and, of course, Coinbase, guys. And if you're looking for a free stock, check out the pinned comment to stake, and we will spin the roulette wheel. See you next time.